What's up, guys? It's Jeff Ray, feature guest host here with Weld.com. On today's episode, you're probably wondering, what am I doing on this school bus? Well, we're building a barbecue smoker food truck. Come on, we'll take a look. We're on a 45 foot Bluebird school bus. This thing has a Cummins in it, has 180,000 miles on it. This thing runs like a top. My buddy brought it to me wanting to build a smoker food truck where we cut the back half of this thing. We're gonna raise the roof, put hand railings on it, as well as build two custom smokers. But before then, I'm gonna take you through some of the things that I encountered when cutting the floor, the sides, and raising the roof and we're gonna weld out some handrails. So let's get at it. On this project, I knew we we're gonna to wanna to raise the roof on this thing, but first we gotta start down below with the flooring. We went ahead and got all the wood flooring and the rubber mat tore back. This flooring is actually just nailed to the sheet metal that's actually spot welded to the frame rails underneath this whole thing. So I started by cutting back the rubber mat and then prying up all the plywood flooring back to this point. That all went really well. Cut any of the screws and nails that were left protruding through there. After that, I needed to get my sides cut. So I looked at what they consisted of inside and out to be able to cut them away. The first side being a test piece took a lot longer, but we were managed to cut it in two cuts inside and out. First, before we cut the sides off, we had to support the roof. So we rigged up a tranny jack back here and then two floor jacks up here. We built a wooden structure that was supported between the bracing on the side here that is riveted to the complete top as well as bolted to the reinforcement pieces that go above. Once that was all set in place, we were able to cut the sides completely free and raise the roof. But before I could do that, I had to have some handrails fabbed so we didn't just have this roof sitting in the air. So I prefabbed these handrails before we implemented cutting the sides off and raising the roof. But before I could put these on, I had to put a piece of square tube up here. This is gonna act as our header. So all these supports go to it as well as the channel. I wanted to have a clean look on the outside with the window lip that was here. So I actually had to notch each one of these for the square tube. I just went with the plate steel that was here and leveled it off with there. So we have welds at all of these support members as well as across the plate to here. So this is gonna give us a good brace to start with for the standoffs to support this thing. I'll go through a little bit of what I did for the setup on the handrail. And then as you can see, we got a handrail to weld out as well as up here on the top. So we got a number of welds to made. So let's get at it. So first we're gonna start out by welding out this top header piece. This is some, what looks like 16 gauge uh, galvanized sheet metal that they've used, what they got riveted here and bolted through the uh, uprights here. This as well is galvanized too. We're gonna be welding to the two by two by three 16 thick carbon steel square tube. So we had to clean that galvanize off of there. I did top and bottom because even if I burn through the top of that, it's gonna burn that galvy on the backside and I don't want that. I've got a couple of tacks on here already. Got everything ground and ready to weld. I'm gonna utilize these clamps just to pull stuff tight, put some more weld across these and weld out the structural pieces there as well. So get the machine turned on, let's get at it. We're gonna be utilizing the Everlast PowerTig 210 EXT today. Be welding on DC, high freak TIG start. We're gonna turn it up to about 100 and 110 will be good. So be utilizing the foot pedal as well. 100% straight argon, the gas lens, 332 E3 tungsten, as well as some ER70S2 1 16th wire. Let's get at it. I went through and tacked each of these in the center with two already. So now I'm just putting some more weld on the outside 
as well as on the structural piece as well. Welded awesome. For about two dozen or more welds on galvanized, they welded great. The prep on the Galvi is where it's at. If you don't have good prep, you're not gonna have a good weld. So to ensure you have a good weld, always prep your stuff. We got all those welds made across this header. I'm gonna jump over here, get these ones knocked out. And we got some welds to make on the handrails here. So let's get at it. All right, got all those welds made. Make these top welds here, and then we can finish painting this top header piece. I already have the outside of it painted behind the yellow here, so we don't have any overspray on that. Now we're gonna get into the handrail down here. Let's get into it. Before I get welding on the handrail pieces now, I just want to talk about how I fit these up real quick. Now if you see, on this mid rail piece, I have a center line here. That's going to allow me to imitate the same cope on the top and bottom of this thing. I have that same center line marked out here. That allows this to be rolled perfectly so my bars are parallel with each other here. This whole job consists of 90 degree copes. So one template did all of these cuts. I knew what I wanted to have for my inside to inside measurement here. So I cut square pieces. All I end up with are these little pieces that I cut off. It makes it a lot easier to cope with that square cut and just that coped cut in there rather than trying to make a complete coped cut. So I do a square cut first and then take the cope notch out of there. I utilize a little stub piece just to make sure that the fit is really nice. But once I had all those made, I laid this stuff out on the ground with the two outer pieces in the top and mid rail here. Once I knew that was square, I locked it down with a couple of these pieces in the center. The front is gonna stay open because that's where the smokers are gonna locate, so we don't need uh, mid rails there. I wanted to have these fabbed up, so when we raised the roof on this, I had something to immediately put into place. Originally, we thought about using a car lift and putting the lift arms underneath this and lifting it up. When I was talking to the owner of this, and he said, man, I got a lift. I said, I'm in need of a lift. So we bargained on the lift in exchange for some of the work on this school bus here, I got me a lift now. We didn't end up using the lift, we ended up using the tranny jack and floor jacks with the structural piece that we used, but hey, we made out with a lift still. So let's get these welds made and then uh, it's on to the next part. That's gonna wrap it up for today's episode on the smoker bus food truck. I got a number of welds still to make on the handrail here. I gotta finish prepping the bottom to get those welded in completely. But until next time, you'll see some more handrailing stuff done and we're gonna get into the actual barbecue smokers themselves. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.